The CHP investigates Tuesday's deadly crash. The family of the victim, Larry Meharry, talked with 23 ABC's Laura Acevedo. She joins us now from the scene of that accident live tonight. Laura. Jackie, the family visited with Meharry's co-workers before meeting with us this morning. They tell me Larry was loved by all of his colleagues and was always willing to help. In the meantime, the CHP continues their investigation. He was a good man. He was a good husband. Family members of 59-year-old Larry Meharry remembered their loved one today as a prankster that was loved by everyone he knew. If he picked on you, he loved you. Yeah. But he would never tell you he loved you. It'd always be, I tolerate you. Meharry died Tuesday afternoon after his motorcycle collided with the vehicle of Kern County Sheriff's Deputy Marvin Gomez. According to CHP, Gomez was traveling west on Norris Road, making a left turn on a red light onto South Airport Drive while responding to a Code 3 emergency call with the lights and sirens on. Today, the family asked that the community stop trying to place the blame on anyone. Blame doesn't change anything. You know, um, I know there's been a lot of a lot of hate towards uh, the authority figures and officers and whatnot, and, and we don't blame anybody for this. CHP investigators now know the nature of the call Officer Gomez was responding to, but will not release that information until the investigation is complete. In the meantime, 23ABC obtained a copy of the Sheriff's Department's policies and procedures regarding going through red lights when responding to emergency calls. Deputies are allowed to do so, but only after making sure lanes are clear, and once they give the other drivers a chance to yield the right of way. For now, the family wants to focus on Larry's memory. They should know that he was a good man, just like I said. I don't think anybody has anything bad to say about him. Before we find out the nature of the call Officer Gomez was responding to, because CHP says it can take anywhere from three to seven months before that accident report is released. In the meantime, the family is hosting a candlelight vigil for Larry tonight right here at the intersection of the accident. Tim, back to you.